Hello everyone, my name is Swamp, and get ready. COVID is back and it's scarier than ever. You better put on your mask. This time, it's for real, you guys. Super serious. We, we got it wrong last time, but this time, you need to put on a mask and lock down and get your vaccine, for sure. This time, it's real, you guys. Super serious this time. Super for real. COVID cases are on the rise across the nation and in our area, which means something many of us thought we'd seen the last of is back. Businesses, hospitals, even colleges, including one in our area, reinstating mask mandates. So will there be more to come as we head into the fall? And are people ready to be forced to mask up again? Kendall Green joins us live in the studio. And Kendall, what do health experts have to say about it? Hey, good evening, Steve. They're saying if you don't have them already, it may be a good idea to stock up. And if you do, keep them handy. With the current COVID trend, we're seeing more mask mandates could be in fall's forecast among companies and colleges. See, are you stocked up? I told you, it's coming back. This, there's a new variant and it's going to be super duper scary. It might be a good idea. The experts are letting you know. And if there's one thing we learned about the COVID experts, well, they got everything wrong last time. But this time, this time, please, guys, come on, for real. Seriously, you got to listen, guys. This time, you're going to die. Everyone's going to die this time. Stock up on your mask. This time, it's for real. This time, it's for real. New data shows we're not out of the woods just yet with COVID-19. In fact, the numbers show the last few weeks it sent more Americans to the hospital with an increase of more than 20 percent from last week in deaths and hospitalizations nationwide. We know that there was. A so wait, wait, wait. Last time, guys, last time COVID experts got all of the numbers wrong. We know they did. They, they pretty much all of them have admitted that they did. But this time, super serious, super for real. Numbers are legit. Experts are on top of it. Come on, you guys wear the mask. Do it. Come on, don't be a bigot again. Just do it. A lot of circulating COVID right now. Dr. Stephanie Silvera, an epidemiologist and professor of public health at Montclair State University, urges caution of the new threat on the horizon. Though the number of cases of variant BA.2.86 are sparse in the U.S., the newest strain is predicted to be the most infectious yet while it's on the rise in Europe. There's a growing concern. The most, the most infectious yet. That, can you can you really I, I honestly I can't believe that it would be more infectious than last time this time for sure everyone's gonna die and just a quick reminder in case you forgot uh, we have some video footage of what's gonna happen to you if you don't listen if you don't put on your masks because this time this time it's super serious, you guys. Please put on your mask, guys. Just, just please. Put your hand behind your back. I will not put my hand behind my back. I'm not friendly towards that wrong. The officer explains that she's being arrested. When she continues to resist, he uses his taser. See you guys. It was super, well, I mean, last, okay, so maybe they got it wrong last time and this was an overreaction, but this time it's going to be warranted because this time it's even deadlier. I mean, we got it all wrong last time, but this time, this time, you guys. Why? Why? It's just not 17-year-old Skylar Brown forced out in handcuffs minutes before the board meeting was slated to start for refusing to wear a face mask. Minutes later, another woman also asked to leave. I will It was for your health, you guys. And yeah, okay, maybe they were wrong last time. And this is not the way they should have handled it because, you know, it, it was an overreaction. But this time, this time, it's for real. It's for your health, you guys. Look, look, this is this is definitely about health. I, I couldn't I couldn't make out a word of what that crazy lady was saying. I mean, that totally reasonable, health-conscious American. 
that was obviously doing the right thing. Because this is about health. They care. Wear the masks. Why won't you wear the masks? We care. Do you want people to die? Ah. Well, that's up to them. They can tell me to leave if they want. You're an asshole. I hope your mother gets sick and dies. And your kids too. You hope people die? I hope your kids do because they should have an asshole. You hope my kids die. You see? You see? This is what it's about. We care so much about people's health and keeping people safe that we hope that your children and your wife die because you don't want to wear a mask. Listen, we're not the bad guys here. Sure, we were wrong about everything the whole time last time, and we have had to admit that in paper, even though we in in print, even though we won't admit it verbally. It has been written down. Okay, we kind of admitted that maybe we got out of control, but this time when we wish death on you and your entire family, it's totally warranted. You guys, this is super duper serious. I don't know how many more times I can tell you. This is just just wear the mask. And honestly, while I was looking things up for the new mask mandate thing, I came across this and I really don't know how to put this in here. So I'm just going to show you this uh, because if you want to be cool and be a part of the Seattle Anarchist Book Fair, we're the anti we're the anti establishment guys. You know, we're if you want to be a part of the cool kids club, you know, the anti government club, this is what you got to do. We went to the Seattle Anarchist Book Fair today, nearly 90% masked my wife. Some of these people have a different reason for wearing a mask. This lovely person was wearing a flow mask. I bought it to protect me at these events, they told me. I also spotted someone in a GVS. So, if you want to know what the cool anarchist kids are doing nowadays, in my days, they were throwing rocks at police officers and um, trying to burn down buildings, like, you know, before BLM made it not cool anymore. Um, but now... The people who want to abolish power and grow freedom. They think you should comply with the mask mandate. And honestly, I couldn't agree more. People will die. Do you want grandma to die again? Super serial this time, you guys. Super duper. Just wear the mask, bro. Please. Please just wear the mask. Come on. Just If you just wear the mask, then we'll, we'll all get through this. We're all in this together. Come on, bro. Wear the mask.